The traditions of Christmas run deep, and perhaps the greatest tradition in modern times is the seasonal airing of the classic film, It's a Wonderful Life, directed by Frank Capra, starring the young Jimmy Stewart. The film is one of the most beloved movies in American cinema history. First released in 1946, the film was nominated for five Oscars, and it has been recognized by the American Film Institute as one of the 100 best American films ever made. And it's number one on the list of most inspirational films of all time. Besides Jimmy Stewart, the movie also featured some of the greatest stars in the Hollywood heavens. Donna Reed, remember her? The great Lionel Barrymore, who played the evil Mr. Potter. And Henry Travers as the clumsy angel Clarence Oddbody. It also launched the careers of other wonderful actors and actresses, including a very special artist who is with us tonight, Virginia Patton Moss. Virginia's motion picture career began when she was just a teenager working for Warner Brothers and Frank Capra while she was still a freshman at USC. Her first role in film was It's a Wonderful Life, where she played the role of Ruth Dakin Bailey, if you don't mind. The sister-in-law of George Bailey, uh, played by Jimmy Stewart, uh, and it was a role that would make her a part of motion, motion picture, I say, excuse me, motion picture history. After It's a Wonderful Life, Virginia would star in other films, but in 1949, she married Cruz W. Moss, a highly respected automotive executive, and they started a family. They've been married ever since, for more than 60 years. Mrs. Moss has always been a devoted supporter of the arts. She's a docent at the University of Michigan Museum of Art and is a member of the American Institute of Archaeology. She has served on the boards of both the Ann Arbor Society and the University of Michigan's Kelsey Museum of Archaeology. She is active in the University of Michigan School of Music where you'll find a Virginia Patton Moss display case in the Stearns Museum of Musical Instruments. For most people, a wonderful life is what Christmas is all about. And because of modern technology, that film has now been seen on every continent on Earth. As Virginia says, it's probably been, it's probably been in more homes than even Santa Claus. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but she may be right. So it's with great pleasure that I announce the winner of this year's St. Nicholas Institute Spirit of Christmas's Past, Present, and Future Award to Virginia Patton Moss. Thank you. What a beautiful, beautiful work of art. Isn't that gorgeous? And to think I'm going to take it home. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Father Taylor. Thank all of you for coming tonight. It is indeed a wonderful life. Uh, the thing that he just said about uh, being in uh, everybody's home at Christmas time, I just wanted to share a little bit about our Christmas one time. Our oldest son, Stevie, was about four and a half, and someone had told him that Mommy was going to be on TV. Well, our, our middle girl uh, was about two, and our youngest was a baby. And so they were in bed, but Mommy and Stevie and Daddy were all lined up to watch It's a Wonderful Life. Well, we watched it, and then all of a sudden, Stevie said, there's Mommy. There's Mommy right there. But that, that big man, that big tall man, he, he's, he's kissing Mommy, and he turned to Cruz, and he said, he's kissing Mommy, and I didn't think anybody kissed Mommy but Daddy. And he started... <laughs> And he started to cry, and so Cruz, he couldn't understand, and so Cruz took him in his lap, and he said, uh, well, Stevie, uh, that was play acting. You know, sometimes play acting, and um, it was just make-believe. Well, he quieted him down, but I'm not quite sure if we saw the rest of the movie. I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, it's a Wonderful Life was a privilege to be in, and it was a, more of a privilege to be working uh, for Mr. Capra. It was a marvelous experience, and Mr. Capra in his uh, autobiography said that uh, It's a Wonderful Life 
was the best motion picture I ever produced and directed. And other people have said that the message in It's a Wonderful Life is the most wonderful motion picture that has ever been produced. And I was a, a, a privilege to be in it, but the idea was that it sent a message. At that point in time, Capra understood that we were coming off of a war, we were, we were, we were in terrible shape as a country, and it had to, they had to have, it had to have some, some stimulus, some, some, some point, at that point in time, we had to have something in our life. It is, it is indeed a wonderful life. Virginia, Clarence Oddbody got his wings. The symbolism of this particular uh, Crystal Award is you'll see this clear vertical piece with pewter relief image of St. Nicholas. That represents the spirit of Christmas surrounding the earth. And you're getting your wings tonight, believe it or not, Help. because we have represented nine pairs of angel wings. So we have the nine choirs of angels. So Virginia has just gotten her wings. Oh, yeah.